Hey, what's up all, it's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2. So, we uh, well, actually, I might as well mention this now, I've just been uh, finishing off doing a little bit of off-camera training uh, with my Pokemon, seeing as I didn't want to waste, uh, like, too much time, you know, in my actual recorded episodes of me just training up with Pokemon, I figured in between recordings, it's probably best for me to do some extra training just to make things a little bit easier for future battles. And that's exactly what I've done. So if we have a quick look at the, our screen here, uh, oh, I've just been finishing training up Psyduck, that's why you are at the top there, so let me just switch things around. But yeah, there we go. Uh, all my Pokemon are now at least level 10. With a few exceptions, I decided to level up Tepic to level 13, Riolu to level 12, Mareep to level 12, and Psyduck to level 12 as well. I don't know if that might be a little bit overkill, but I figured, you know what, it should make things a little bit uh, more easier going forward, or at least maybe uh, save a bit of time in doing some extra training in the long run. But anyway, let's have a quick look and see what's new. Although admittedly, I don't think there's too much new in terms of attacks. I've rearranged some attacks just to make things like quicker and easier for me in terms of selecting the moves, but apart from that, I don't think there's much new. Uh, oh, Riolu now knows Faint, you know, the move that can uh, hit a target even if it uses Protect or Detect, although that probably, we probably won't encounter too many of those Pokemon right now. Nothing new for P-Dove, nothing new for Patrat, I don't think. Oh, Psyduck now knows Disable, which could be useful if I find that uh, uh, an opponent is using a really annoying move very frequently. Uh, Mareep also knows Cotton Spawn. Yeah, uh, Spawn? Cotton Spore, rather. <laughs> so that will lower the speed, so that should hopefully uh, help us out. So we're done with the ranch, and you know what? Seeing as we're done with the ranch, let's head back to uh, Flockacy Town and talk to Alder. Oh, I still love how gorgeous this looks in the autumn with the orange and red leaves. Actually, hang on, I just realised, kids, uh, if you wander too far into the leaves, you might blend in quite a bit, so um, don't wander into the leaves too much, especially don't end up like this, otherwise you'll be well and truly hidden. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to uh, Flockacy Town and see if we can talk to Alder, and indeed we can. Oh, it looks like you've uh, delivered the town map to your friend. Hmm, you've only gone a moment, but you and your Pokemon have grown. Why, I could almost mistake you for someone else. Well, I did spend... Ooh, how much? Uh, probably spent... I was going to say an hour. Probably wasn't an hour, but it was certainly a, a decent amount of time uh, just before I started recording this session, uh, doing some extra training in the... Uh, in the ranch. As I said, just to save a bit of time when uh, recording these episodes so I don't constantly spend a lot of my recording... It, like, recorded time doing um, training. Also, oh, we're not going to have a battle out here in this uh, DIY um, battleground. That's a shame. Although I do see an item. Uh, X speed. And I also noticed something on the uh, the right-hand side there. Ooh, okay, there is a path. Oh, oh, uh, pardon me, older. I'm totally going to have to check this out first. What is this? As I said, I have played this game once before, but that was a a good few years ago, if I dare I say it, probably at least 10 years ago since I last probably played this game. Uh, actually, when did this game come out? Uh, yeah, it was about a decade ago, wasn't it? So yeah, it must have been about 10 years ago since I last at least properly played through this game. Three sharp marks are deeply cut into the rock. Oh, that, that there's totally something going to be there. But other than that, looks like there's not a lot we could do in this area for now. So, you know what? It's time to, uh, I guess we will speak to Alder after all. If anything, it was just a good excuse for me to just have a nice little run around in some lovely orange and red leaves again. Alright, let's pop inside and see what's what. Oh, are we going to help train that person, sir? Really? But that trainer looks really tough. That's right, this trainer may be tough, but he can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you just to enjoy Pokemon battles? So DJ, please be their opponent. Okay then, I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. Alright, let's uh, have a look and see what's what. Hopefully it is a cool Pokemon.
Ooh, Pan Sage. Okay, that will work out nicely for Tepic. So, very easy battle for you, Tepic, especially considering you're level 13. So, this should be a walk in the park for you. Wow, you actually managed to survive that? No way. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised you actually survived that. But you wasted it on a Leah, so... At the end of the day, still very much a one-sided battle. Sorry, Pansage. I need to get older to teach me some more things. And yes, I decided to keep the tech speed on medium, because even though I do typically like to have it on fast, uh... I can't really afford to because, of course, the text automatically advances uh, at the end of the battle, uh, you know, when it moves on to how much you've won. So it's kind of annoying because, um, yeah, I would rather have the, I'd rather have the text speed on fast, but then I'd most likely miss what was read, uh, what was spoken at the end of each battle. First, we had to heal your Pokemon. That's very nice of you, even though I only literally just used an Ember and a Tackle. Some Pokemon battles are decided by type matchups. Oh, interesting. So, the kids just now just use a Pan Sage. Are you going to use a Pan Paw by any chance, Cassie? Yes, you are. What a guess. Although, I'm wondering if I selected a different Pokemon. I wonder if these trainers' Pokemon would have changed depending on what I chose. So, if I ended up with Oshawott, would my first opponent would. Uh, what was his name? I think it was Seymour. Would Seymour have used uh, a Pan... Seer, I think it's called. The Fire-type monkey. And then uh, Cassie ended up using a Pan Sage instead. I wonder if it would have changed, or whether it just happened to be like this regardless. But either way, we're just learning about type matchups. So, of course, against the Water-type Pokemon. Got to... Uh, Switch to the electric type, because right now I do not have a grass type Pokemon. Also, once again, you somehow survived that. Ew, are you going to give me a lick? Hmm. Pretty sure my wool is not that tasty. <laughs> anyway, simple enough. What? How could I have lost in a type matchup like this? Well, Unfortunately for you, I had the advantage of actually able to switch out my Pokemon. That was truly a rousing battle. I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. How about it, DJ? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire. Fire is strong against grass. Grass is strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen, when a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful. Indeed. Okay, so you're going to heal my Pokemon, thank you very much, older. Meeting Pokemon and people you never would have met otherwise is truly one of the great things about travelling. Indeed. Uh, anything else to say? No, you're just saying the exact same thing. What about you two? I think I can get even stronger if I learn more about Pokemon. That's why I want to go to many different places, so I can learn a lot. Fair enough. My dream is to strengthen my Pokemon here and become the strongest trainer in Universe. Oh, so it looks like he might suddenly become a, a new rival for me. Interesting. Also, I just want to check out what was at the back here. Just three random Pokeballs on the shelf there, and looks like I've taken centre stage. Yeah. Bow down before me, because I am the best trainer in this room. I mean, I haven't seen what oldest Pokemon are like, but then again, if it's anything like the first game, yeah, I might take back that statement. So um, let's just go before older proves me wrong. <laughs> Wait, who are you? I know this is sudden, but nice to meet you. Now, don't say anything, just take this. Okay, I'll take whatever that is. The medal box. The medal box. I mean, I know Pokemon can get, like, ribbons, but medal boxes? What's this about? It's the medal. You know a competition called the Medal Rally? Um, I can't remember it off the top of my head, so uh, remind me. Whether you know it or not, I'll explain it to you. The Medal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of trainers. So in commemoration of your participation, please take this medal. The First Step Medal. Oh, wait a minute. This is sort of effectively like this game's version of like achievements or something. Or like a stat tracker. 
So get some hint medals. For your information, you can get medals if you meet their conditions. Go to a Pokemon Center and you can get medals from me one after another. First, please use your medal box and check the inside. Alright, I might as well do that. We'll have a quick look. Oh, but first we're going to have a little chat to Alder. As for the newly opened Pokemon Gym in Aspertia City, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. Ooh, interesting. You should go and test how strong you've become. Right, so probably just as well. I did uh, train up my Pokemon a little bit, but let's have a look at this medal bag. Let's have a look. Uh, it's in key items, isn't it? There it is, medal box. Let's have a look. Uh, let me switch screens for a moment. A manual is wedged inside the medal box. Medal box features. Press the A button when the cursor is highlighting a medal or tap the box to the right of the name. That medal will be registered as your favourite medal. Your favourite medal can be shown to other players. Press start or tap the icon in the lower left to change how the medals are shown. Okay. So... Yeah, this is basically just a stat tracker in a way, as well as um, just keeping track of, like, I guess, like, achievements in a way. So, yep, so just get one regardless. Then we got, uh, there is no path in front of you, there'll be a path behind you. Interesting. Save your game frequently. When a Pokemon gets weak, just go to Pokemon Center often. Just battle. Link battles, well, that's definitely not happening. And link trades, again, that is definitely not happening. So, yeah, it's just basically a stat tracker in a way. Alright, well, I guess that's cool, but... Nah, that's just like a side little distraction, so I'm not too worried about that. However, what I am interested in is checking out our first gym. Yeah, let's finally get our first uh, gym badge. Oh, um, who is... Alder? You're making a habit of this. You just appear at the top of that cliff and then just suddenly jump down. Are you trying to prove something to me? Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Ah, here we go. So we finally get some orange berries. Okay, cool. Uh, there's orange berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its hit points will be restored. Once more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold. Like this orange berry, for instance, when a Pokemon holds a berry. It can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of its lost hit points. Yep, the same old stuff. Well, I just told you to challenge the gym leader. Aspertius gym leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer. But you have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do, and what you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. Ooh, victory is mine, eh? Nice. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. As you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. Interesting. Well, we'll certainly take on uh, the next gym leader, or rather the first gym leader of this uh, game, so let's do just that. But we need to head back to Aspertia. And of course, through the grass, are we going to get a Pokemon encounter? Yes, we are, because of course we are. Because this seems to be the world's biggest patch of uh, grass blocking uh, the way to uh, Aspertia City, and inevitably I encounter a wild Pokemon. No, I am not interested. Go away. Let's head back to Aspertia City and to the gym. Home sweet home, back in Aspertia City. Also, that is not where I want to go. I want to go down here. Don't need to go to the Pokemon Center, but we want to go here. So this is now open, is it? Aspertia City Pokemon Gym. Gym leader, Sharon. Well, well. Looks like someone's been doing a lot of work in the two years since the last game. The one who seeks the right path. Well, well, all right then, I guess. I guess it's time to take on the first gym, although, yeah, as it turns out, this is this looks more like a school than a Pokemon gym. I asked Alder from Flockacy Town to teach here. He declined, saying it was the era of young people now. Ah, fair enough. Uh, I can't interact with that poster. So let's just go in here and talk to everyone uh, while I'm here. Do you use items during Pokemon battles? If you'd like, try using this. Okay, so we pick up an X Defend. Alright, fair enough. I don't typically use those items, but we might as well collect them anyway. Trainer's judgment about whether to use items or moves is important in battle. You know how you can have your Pokemon hold items? Yes. Well, it seems like they don't know how to use items made by people, like potions. So yeah, Pokemon will easily be able to use uh, items like berries, but if it's 
anything man-made, uh, then they won't be able to know what to use. And once again, you're just going to tell us, like, various Pokemon statuses and that, so not too worried about that. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon, but the only Pokemon around here like that are the Riolu and Flocka Sea Ranch. If you're going to battle with a fire, water, or grass type Pokemon, it will be a simple test of strength. Well, I mean, I do have a Riolu, but unfortunately, it doesn't know any fighting type moves yet. So, I don't really have an advantage right now. But, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. There's a technique that enables you to cancel evolution. Okay, yeah, so, you know, you just press the B button to uh, cancel the evolution. Which is something I don't typically do, but, uh, maybe I should. Anyway, uh, is it worth trying out using Riolu anyway? Even though you don't know a fighting type move? Or should I just go all out with Tepig? Might just go all out with Tepic, to be honest. But of course, we do have some Pokemon trainers to battle, so maybe I will start off with Riolu and just take it from there. Hello, I'm Clyde, the guide for trainers. Ah, Clyde the guide, alright. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. And yeah, fresh water, that sounds like exactly what uh, I was given at the beginning of each gym battle in the first Pokemon Black game. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. Well, I mean, a whole, I have a whole party of six Pokemon, so... Should be alright. You must be a challenger. Welcome to Aspertia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Cheren, the gym leader. Hmm? Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We have a challenger. You two, take your places. Alright then. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Alright, fair enough, Cheren. Although, nice to see that uh, some uh, returning characters. So, Bianca's now Professor Juniper's assistant. Cheren is now a gym leader. But I wonder what happened to Jono, the playable character from the uh, first game. Because it's, presumably he just became the uh, the ultimate champion and presumably disappeared off the face of the planet. <laughs> Instead, it's me, although I purposely named myself DJ to avoid any confusion in case we end up referencing uh, the playable character from the first game. Anyway, Charon saw potential in me and made me a trainer in this gym. Ooh, hang on, yeah. Doing it all official as well on their actual battleground and taking our positions. Nice. Alright, Pedro, let's see what you have. A Pat Rat, so yes, this is a normal type gym. I do have a Riolu, but unfortunately, you don't know any fighting type moves, which is rather unfortunate, but no matter, we'll just uh, do the battle anyway. I can always just use Quick Attack. I do have Faint. Just in case, um, these Pokemon know Protect or Detect, which, thinking about it, is very unlikely. Also, I was tempted to use Counter for the second move, but I'm glad I didn't because you ended up using uh, Leer, which is absolutely fine. Let's just take care of that Pat Rat. And Lillipup, seeing as you did have your defense lowered a bit, Riolu, I am going to switch Pokemon, and... Hmm. I suppose I could just use Tepic for now. Just see how Tepic does in just a test of strength, I suppose. Although you are getting pretty close to leveling up to level 14, so if we can get you to level 14 before we battle Cheren, that will definitely help us out. Also, I just noticed our opponent's Pokemon, they're level 9. So, somewhat low levels, but at the same time, I think it was still worth me doing some extra training anyway. Okay, you're just wasting your time using Odor Sleuth. In which case, I will finish off with just a simple tackle attack. And there we go. Ooh, not quite, but very close to leveling up there, Tepig. You're strong, or should I say... Your Pokemon are strong. Yeah, that's true. All I'm simply doing is just commanding what my Pokemon do in each battle. The Poke my Pokemon are the strong ones here. 
If you could defeat the girl too, you could challenge the gym leader. Alright then, I'll do just that. And I might as well just stick with Rio Lu up front for the time being. Now I'll show you all of the things I learned from Cheren. Alright, doing it official again. Making our places on the battleground. Alright, Serena, let's see what Pokemon you have. Okay, you're starting out with a lily pup. Alright. But you think then again, if we're only gonna be battling against normal type Pokemon, then really there's only gonna be two different ones because that's all we've encountered so far. Now, do I wanna try out counter? Let's just use Quick Attack for now, and then we'll just take it from there. Okay, you're using Odor Sleuth, so... Not much to go on there. Just keep using Quick Attack for the time being. Oh, nice! Critical hit! Oh, wonderful, Riolu. Very good, very good. And just sending out a Pat Rat. I'm going to keep battling for now. Because your defense stats haven't been lowered or anything, or any stats have been lowered, so I can afford to keep you out for a little bit longer, Riolu. Okay, I would like to try counter, but... Depends what the AI does. Okay, so actually, if I did use counter, it actually would have worked, but... Never mind, never mind, that's the way it goes. This should level up Riolu. Now the question is, will you learn a fighting type move upon leveling up now? No, you don't. Right. Okay, so... So, really, we're not going to have much of an advantage uh, in this gym battle. So, I think what we'll do is I will heal up Riolu. Not going to bother going to the Pokemon gym. I'm just going to heal you up like so. I suppose I could give... Oh, I've got five berries, so I suppose I could give a berry to some of my Pokemon. So I'll tell you what, Tepic, you hold an RM berry. And you can as well, Riolu. I'll start with Riolu. And we'll just take it from there. But there we go, Cheren. I defeated both of these Pokemon trainers. Let's actually battle. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. So yeah, as I said, you've definitely come a long way since the uh, first Pokemon Black game, Sharon. Okay, he's using two Pokemon, and he's also using a Pat Rat. Okay. Ooh, level 11. Okay, so actually, might, actually it was worth me training up my Pokemon after all. Hmm, do I try counter or should I just start with a quick attack for now? Let's just start with a quick attack for now and just go from there. Using work up. Ooh, right, okay. So I have chosen that move. I see, you'll be a powerful opponent. What, by quick attack? Okay, let's use another one. Let's see how much damage we do there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I could have used um, a counter there. I should be able to get away with using Quick Attack, though. Yeah, nice. Okay, good start there, Riolu. Good, good. And you're also sending out a Lillipop. So, yeah, pretty much the only Pokemon that we've seen. Do I stick with Riolu? Let's keep battling for now. Oh, well, I guess it's time for me to knock that wall down. Okay, you're using tackle. Whoa, okay, I was thinking about using counter, but one more tackle and that's going to be it. So I think rather than risk using the counter, let's just use Quick Attack and then we'll follow it up by using another Pokemon. Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to either bring out Tepig or, you know what, let's be cheeky and let's bring out Marie. For one specific reason. 
on the wave. Yeah, there you go. How do you like that now, Lily Pup? Um, try a thunder shock. This definitely won't knock it out, though. Ooh, okay. Might not need Tepic's help at all with this. Not bad. All right. Okay, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. That was definitely worth doing the extra training, actually, at the end of the day. And Mareep grew to level 13 as a reward. Good stuff. This. This is what a real Pokemon battle is. Nice. And I got a whole bunch of money for my victory as well. Nice. That battle has me. F uh, uh, bleh. That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. Nice. Our first gym badge of the Univer region. I've received the basic badge from Cheren. Here is your first gym badge, the basic badge. This is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And I want you to take this. And TM83 Workup, which I saw you use with your Pat Rats, uh, before. Uh, Workup, when you use Workup while battling, it raises the user's attack and special attack. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want, which is very nice from this generation onwards. Uh, in the Unova region, there are 8 Pokemon Gyms and 8 Gym Badges. If you're a trainer, you could collect all of them. That will make it easier to fill the pages of the Pokedex as well. Yes, two years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. Ah, memories, eh? Uh, but you're not going to say anything else beyond that. Okay then, so there we go. Nice. The first big test has been a success. What do you think about that, Clyde the Guide? I hope you'll remember the wonderful moment in which you received that badge forever. Yes, it commemorates the fact that I am now on my way, on the path to potentially become the champion of the Univer region. Well, with that being done, let's uh, head on out and see what's next. <laughs>